There's a lot of work yet to be done, Gorstein said, wiping the lenses of his round glasses. Here you see a middle-class 60s. The past is pricey and not everyone can afford it, but you do realize that not every past and not every youth was like this. We need to have a 1960s for workers, student dorms, as well as a 1960s for those who lived in Eastern Europe. Our 1960s. One day, when this business really takes off, Gorstein continued, we'll create these clinics and sanatoriums in various countries. The past is also a local thing. There'll be houses from various years everywhere, little neighborhoods. One day we'll even have small cities, maybe even a whole country. For patients with failing memories, Alzheimer's, dementia, whatever you want to call it. For all of those who already are living solely in the present of their past. And for us, he said, finally after a short pause, letting out a long stream of smoke. This certain groundswell of people who have lost their memories today is no coincidence. They are here to tell us something. And believe me, one day, very soon, the majority of people will start returning to the past of their own accord. They'll start losing their memories willingly. The time is coming when more and more people will want to hide in the cave of the past to turn back. And not for happy reasons, by the way. We need to be ready with the bomb shelter of the past. Call it the time shelter, if you will. 